Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to see what happens to um, my carnivorous plant here. And it's going to be an ant's nest versus my carnivorous plant. So, the ants are kind of getting worked up now that they've sent something is on their nest. And let's just have a look and see what happens to the um, ants, if they're going to fall in the traps, or what happens next. They're really um, getting worked up over there. And I think they'll make their way over here very soon. You can already see them falling in. And because it's a hot day, I'm just going to be spraying the plant every once in a while. There went another one in. And where these plants naturally come from, it rains a lot. And the peristomes, when wet, this is the peristome here, the slippery ridge, gets very slippery. So let's see what happens to these guys and see if we can catch some ants for this guy to eat. Wow, look at them all go in. Let's take you off the tripod and see if we can get some different shots of this. The ants nest is really picked up now with the activity. And look at them all just dropping in the pitcher, one after the other. Look at how efficient these plants are at catching the prey. The pitchers are actually like filling up to the point where the ants are toppling on top of each other. Literally getting to the point where the ants aren't drowning anymore because there's so many of them in the pictures. Look at that. They're starting to climb up the tripod. They're starting to climb all over my shoes. Ouch, and up my leg. Ah. Oh, I keep um, moving the camera because I'm swatting ants off of me. They're just everywhere. Turns out the person eating alive here is going to be me. Oh, look at that though, it's so full in there, they're actually like starting to drown. Just from each other's weight. The pitchers must be full. Hundreds and hundreds of ants. The entire plant is still covered in them. Just shows how efficient of a predator these plants actually are. It's just simply so full, it's not even an efficient trap anymore. They're just standing on top of each other. Crazy. They keep falling in though. Anyways guys, I think um, we have a clear winner here. I think it's really a tie actually. I would say the pitcher plant is, um, is completely eaten its fill in about 10 minutes or so. 
but the ants just keep coming and coming and coming. So, I hope you enjoyed this curious little experiment as much as I did. Kind of fun, kind of interesting to see. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. And I just hung the plant in a, a neighboring tree. I gotta figure out how to get all the ants off of it. I think the best way is just give it a spray with water and to let the pitchers continue to do their thing and the ants will fall in hopefully. And there is a final shot of how full it actually got. Wow, they're just they're crawling back out it's so full. It's full to the broom with ants. Just amazing.